Hi everybody and welcome back to the video series, my journey to the world stage as a fitness model competitor and my documentation of my journey. And so today is the 10th of April, 2017. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. I want to talk about something that has been on my mind and something I've been feeling on a regular basis and that is feeling lonely as a fitness model competitor. Now this is not gonna be like tear jerking or I don't intend for this to be a sob story, but I feel like I need to express the feeling that I have about being lonely in this journey of getting ready for these competitions. I've already had one fitness model competition already. I had that on the 5th of March. It was my first ever comp and it was really, really eye-opening for me. And I spent four months prepping for that. And so I documented that journey. So go and check that out if you haven't seen that one already. And now I'm documenting this journey to the world stage. And so between now and June 2017, which is my world titles competition, I have two other competitions um, between now and then. So my next competition is literally 27 days away as I film this right now on the 10th of April. And I want to say that, you know, for a while, I feel like I'm actually lonely. Like I feel socially isolated. And it's because of the demands that I need to, like it's because of the training. Like we're talking, we're talking up to three hours of training every, every day, like five, six days a week. And there's no going out drinking. There's no, not that I was a big fan of drinking anyway, but there's, it's a very socially reclusive lifestyle. And I'm a social guy and this is the real challenge is because if you're a social person, you'll really struggle with this kind of journey because it, you know, you just can't go to a restaurant every night of the week and eat off a menu. You need, you know, I'm all for flexible dieting if you're familiar with that where it's like eating to your macros and eating to, you know, calories in and that kind of stuff, calories out and tracking calories. But it's difficult when you go to a restaurant, you don't know what they put in the food. You don't know what's on the menu. I mean, you know what's on the menu, but you don't know exactly how much oil they've put in, how that kind of stuff. So diff much difficult to track. And so you can get away with flexible dieting for a while, but you know, when you're sort of at a competition level, the game changes a little bit. And I've only sort of started to appreciate that since I started comp prepping. Now I'm not bitching or whinging or anything like that, but I just think it's important for people to know that there's a certain sacrifice involved in getting ready for, you know, fitness competitions. And, you know, these people that, I mean, you look at these people on front covers of magazines and most people admire them and people, most people look up to them. I did when I was growing up. I was an 18, 19, 20, 21 year old looking up to guys on magazines and using that as inspiration. And then the internet came along and then it was Google Images and then it was YouTube and then yada yada. And so I used, we all do it, we've all done it in the past, use very lean people as inspiration to whoever we, we connect more with, whether it be a movie star, celebrity, whatever. But I think, there's not much storytelling behind the sacrifice that goes into creating these physiques, you know, and and, I, and that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm documenting my journey is because I want people to realize, you know, what actually goes on behind the scenes. Like, what does it really take for a fitness model to actually be a fitness model or a fitness model competitor? What sacrifices do they need to make? And is it all Instagram 17 filters like? You know, like, yeah, it's pretty on Instagram, but it's all dirty behind the scenes. You know, you don't see, like, I'll give you an example, I'll give you context. I, uh, I've been speaking to a girl and she's also prepping for, I believe, a second competition now as we record this. And so she's doing her comp, she's actually doing her next competition uh, as a sports model when I'm competing in 27 days from now. Anyway, so she's been sharing on Instagram and also um, through Snapchat with me direct and also she shared this when we had a group, uh, like we had a group thing and a few weeks ago we were chatting about social support and it's, inc it's, it's actually really surprising just how, how ostracized 
fitness model competitors are from the rest of society. And you might think this is kind of bizarre. You might think that we're worshipped. You might think that we have all this, you know, people just, uh, we have all this attention and like uh, people, we have all this respect. And I think, you know, uh, we actually get the impression that society actually kind of looks down on us as being unhealthy and being obsessed. And, and you know, we find that, no, not for so much me because I'm I'm going through this journey on my own. So like I actually I, <laughs> I rarely go out. I rarely do anything. I pretty much go to the supermarket, get food, bring it back, meal prep, weigh and measure, and then I schedule in my training. I look at my training plan. I look at my nutrition plan. I see if any things need to be modified, and or I negotiate things with my coach coaches. I have one coach for posing and stage, I have one coach for meal plan and training plan and supplements, and then I have a physio and then I have a, you know what I mean? Like there's all these, like a team of people. And so it's like liaising with all these people and whatever. And then it's, um, you know, and, and that's like a full-time, it's like a full-time job. And I work a full-time job. I work in a corporate office. And so the point of that, the punchline of that is that I feel isolated so much so that I don't feel the push of my social circles telling me that um, I'm unhealthy or I'm obsessed or that kind of thing. I don't feel that as much as what this girl has shared with me and the group of, she shared with me direct through Instagram or whatever and through Snapchat. But like her family doesn't support what she does. She's been told that you know, she's setting a bad example for a child, like a child's gonna grow up and around a mother who doesn't respect her physique and it's an unhealthy mentality that she's passing on to her child and it's obsessive and how can you be so obsessive and you need to tone it down and relax a little bit and enjoy life and have a social life. And, and so she's copying it quite a lot. And so her circles, are telling her that they're going through the same thing with their social circles and 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 then you know another guy who's good friends with this girl and I love to mention names but out of respect to privacy I might even try and bring them on actually and interview them um, he, he was mentioned the same thing his wife doesn't support what he does uh, she's completely disgusted by the fact that he's you know trying to give him the best shape and you know he's a fitness model competitor as well and so the list goes on and it's like, where's the fucking social support? You know, with all due respect with language, but it's like brutally honest, where is the support from people that are close to us and need it most? Like to be brutally honest, let's be brutally honest here. My parents don't even know that I'm competing. They don't even know that I won those trophies behind me. I never told them. I haven't told them that I was competing. And I wasn't even in this discussion planning on bringing that up. And I just kind of got goosebumps by mentioning that. And you might think, well, that's really sad. It is. Like, I want to, I want to be able to go to my parents and say, hey, like, uh, you know, I'm getting ready for a fitness comp. But I grew up with like my parents shutting me down, and you know, not being, not not being my biggest supporter. It's like I'm my own biggest supporter. Like I am my own biggest fan. And, I, and I'm not just saying that as like bullshit, like airy fairy psychobabble, like I really am. Like I never had that from my parents and I didn't have it from anybody. And so I had to be my own raving fan. And I, and I had to like be like, fuck Brad, you're doing pretty good. That's pretty awesome. You, you got first place in two different divisions, but don't bother telling your parents because they don't give a shit. You know, that's kind of my, that's my situation. And being socially isolated, yada 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 not getting the social support um it's it's like yeah it's hard it's tough i get it like it's tough but you know you push through you push through so i i wanted to bring this i, I kind of jumped around a little bit there in the end and it wasn't really supposed to bring that i wasn't going to bring that up i was going to bring that up in another video actually about parents supporting you know their or social support and whatever else. But um, look, it's an isolated experience. And I think I think most athletes go through this. Like if you want to be the best, you know, this is a sport. You know, this is a sport where, you know, we are taking our physiques to a whole new level. We want to be the best we can physically. 
And and so there's a sacrifice to that, and it means you know cutting. It means no TV. It means no social life, and we accept that. I mean, I accept that. You know, that's that's a consequence. So anyway, I'm going to round it off. Thanks so much for hearing this out. I actually have nobody else to vent this to. That's why I'm actually venting to you. I don't mean to throw my, but you need to you know you need to hear it, and uh, you need to hear it in its rawest. Form. So um, anyway, thanks so much for your support. Always reach out to me. I'm super approachable. I actually help people like you uh, achieve your best physique as well. And you know, I go through my challenges and that's being being human. Um, but I also help people that want to lose a bit of weight and get in shape without wanting to compete um, through online courses. So check out my website and I'll flash it up. I'll flash my details up on the screen. Go check it out. And uh, I'm more than happy to, to help you out if you get you know, if you need help. That's what I'm here for. Um, you know. <laughs> so anyway, thanks very much for your support and for watching this, and I'll see you in another video.